Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. So in front of us, we have the 2023 Audi RS5 Coupe with the competition package. This is finished off in Nardo Gray and it has an MSRP just over $94,000. That includes the comp package as well. And powering this RS5, this has a 2.9 liter twin turbo V6. It's paired to an eight speed automatic transmission. This pumps out 444 horsepower, 442 pound-feet of torque. Sent through that Quattro all-wheel drive system, it will propel this 3,900 pound coupe from zero to 60 in four and a half seconds. The comp package pumps this, uh, bumps this up to 180 miles an hour. Now, as we work our way to the exterior styling, up front, everything is gloss black. So including the hexagonal grille, Audi logo, RS5 badge, this has a forward-facing camera, and there are plenty of cutouts to provide a lot of cooling. Now, there's also both parking sensors and the forward-facing sensors for the adaptive crews located on both sides. And part of that comp pack is the carbon fiber edge that you see in the very lower section. Now, this also has LED headlights, DRLs, and turn signals. There's some more gloss black trim accents to tie them in with the inlets that are in the vertical position down below. So that's a nice small touch to see and then there are four lines distinctively coming down the hood to meet that top trim piece just above the grill i think it gives it a fantastic look and along with that we have an all new set of 20 inch wheels as part of this comp package these are extremely beautiful i love the design of them very open too so you can take a look at that massive rs brake caliper with a two-tone design the y spokes at the end perfect combo with this nardo gray now this also has the RS Sport suspension as well as the rear diff of course and carbon fiber mirror caps for the power folding side mirrors, turn signal and camera system. Gloss black for the roof as it has the full sunroof, gloss black around the window trim and in the lower section there. And a very nice design running down the side. There's a combination of the crisp lines and the ones in the lower section of the side skirt to really pull this together. Now in back, there's gloss black for the trunk lip spoiler, LED taillights, backup camera with all the sensors, more carbon fiber in that diffuser, and then the dual RS sport tuned exhaust. And you can use the button on the key fob or up underneath to gain access to the trunk. It's not power operated, but there is plenty of space to make this a fun and practical daily driver. There's pockets on both sides, plenty of room with the back seats up, and you can fold them down. They are individual, so there's three controls for that. When you fold them down, that gives you a lot more space, and you even get a spare tire for this vehicle. So it's extremely practical, two grab handles up top. And so you're getting a ton of performance, and you're still getting that everyday use. Now, with the comp pack, we have Alcantara leather, piano black, brushed aluminum, Bang & Olufsen sound system, even the heated side mirrors too. Very, very nice design that carries its way to these full leather and Alcantara seats. Such a beautiful design. They're heated and massaging. How much better can it get than that? Now to gain access to the back seats, we have this leather tab to pull. You can also adjust the seat too. So that way you don't have to reach down to the sides. This is a four seater. And so we have the same attention to detail with the Alcantara and leather climate adjustments with an auxiliary, a little bit of storage, you can place a phone. There's even more in the sides with the armrest too. And you get a center armrest with more storage space and cup holders too. And then you can fold this seat down individually if you have some longer items. Honestly, at five foot 10, oh, there's a cup holder down on each side too. At five foot 10, I really don't have any complaints. I could be comfortable. You need to move this seat forwards a little bit, of course, to accommodate. Lights are up top, but it's nice. I could ride around town, maybe a short road trip, adding to that practicality. Now, jumping into these front seats, we have Alcantara greeting us on the steering wheel, which is a fantastic touch. Let's fire this up though. Paddle shifters, of course, RS badge. On the right side, there's Bluetooth and voice commands, heated steering wheel, volume and tuning and then the RS button. On the left side, there's view and some other toggles to go through the digital gauge cluster. So currently, TAC is on the left, 
miles per hour is on the right side. There's some other vitals within those, like your mile, like your uh, fuel level as well. And then right in the middle, currently it is showing navigation. Now we can scroll through some other information just to take a look at all of this. And then I can even scroll over and pull up some of this info. Now back to nav, if I push on view, we can pull that up in full screen. We can also go through the rest of this information. So just depending on what you would like to see for the day, it's helpful, especially for the navigation to have that in full view. Now, this also has a head-up display. It's showing miles per hour and the speed limit sign. If you wanna change that, simply push on RS. You have RS1 and RS2. This is the uh, gauge cluster that you get with the drag strip style RPMs on both sides, miles per hour, and some vital information. And then it will change the head-up display to show you a lap timer, your engine or oil temperature, and miles per hour. Very nice to see that. We have cruise and adaptive cruise with the distance pacing. Very large compartment for any items you wanna place down there. All the headlight adjustments, more carbon fiber. And then with the infotainment system, very easy to go through this. These are all the icons that you can go through. There's even a split style, so you can monitor all of those at once. If I go into a vehicle and go into drive select, these are the different drive modes. There's comfort, auto, and dynamic. You can also go into the monitor and look at some of this info which is pretty neat. On the left side, all these are fixed. So you can get into your nav, get into your phone, you have your audio adjustments too. Very simple and straightforward. Air vents underneath that, one continuous strip to the passenger side with carbon fiber bringing it back. Right in the middle, LCD screen for all of your climate adjustments. You can hover your finger to decide if you need to push them up or down. And so you have all of those nicely laid out. Heated seat controls, temperature dials, some research as well. You even have shortcuts to your drive select, so you can quickly pull those up. There's the uh, parking sensors, even the uh, parallel or the traction control, parallel parking, parking sensors, and you can turn that upper screen off if you would like to. A few auxiliaries down below with two cup holders and this square shaped design, and Alcantara on this shifter. With it in reverse, I can expand this view and pull up a lot of different angles. Very, very helpful to have for this type of vehicle. Drive and then manual is over on the right side, so you can shift using either of these. The e-brake is just behind that with a little bit of storage. And then in the armrest, there's a wireless charging pad with some auxiliaries, and then you can even adjust this as needed. More storage in the glove box, of course. And then with the sunroof, it is automatic, so those adjustments are in the middle with the touch-sensitive dome lights. And a look at visibility from the driver's seat. It's very open feeling, which is nice. But now let's go ahead and get this out on the road. And from second gear, here we go. Mild acceleration for today. This has so much more potential, of course, than I'm throwing at it. And it's just, it's an incredible car. I love how comfortable this is to drive. You're talking almost 100K for this specific model. And so with that price tag is going to come the refinements, the luxury, the performance that you're looking for out of your Audi coupe. And so this checks all the boxes. It's also practical too. So you can have three other people with you. You can have a bunch of their items in the back. If you need that extra space, if you don't, it's still just a nice one or two person vehicle uh, that has pretty much everything that you need. I love how it's simple with the tech, yet it gives you all of the tech that you need. I love the tack on both sides of your miles per hour. I think it's really cool to see that, especially for that more aggressive RS driving that you can do with this. And this interior is just so beautiful. It's very nicely laid out. Visibility is also really good, which would add to the daily driving of your RS5. But I highly recommend this. If you're in the need for a coupe, you want back seats that are practical, it's not a five seater, which you could have other vehicles that have three in the back, but it's a nice four seater for sure. Uh, the RS5 is a, a nice option to go with. 
So that is going to wrap it up for today's walk around and test drive of the 2023 Audi RS5 with the competition package. Once again, huge shout out to Audi Northlake for providing this coupe for me today. Check out their website, that link is down below. And if you enjoyed today's review, give it a huge thumbs up and consider smashing that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on our daily uploads. I will see you all in the next video.